guys and welcome back to big chick thrifts honey where you come for the fashion but i hope you stay because you know i love you hey. 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 come on y'all know we got to do our dance first we got to get our boogie on we get, come on that's how we started come on come on Come on. What's up, y'all? How are you today, darling? If you are new here, I am your host, Nitra, a.k.a. Sugar Mama. Yeah. How you doing? How your mama them doing? Tell everybody on the block I said, hey, girl, I missed y'all, and I'm so excited for this week. We got a really quick haul try on that we are going to do from our local. No, I think we did Goodwill. I think everything came from, no, DAV and Goodwill. So we're going to do our local thrift, of course. I hope you guys enjoy. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Go ahead and get you something to snack on. It's going to be a quick one, but it's going to be good. So we're going to be doing a casual springtime two-piece set look. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And to my new people, y'all listen. You get nothing but love over here, honey. You are in the right place. If nobody told you today, I love you, darling. I hope that you are enjoying whatever space that you are in. And if you are not, we're going to send that on up and we're going to give it to the Lord. And we're going to change that day just like that. So I hope that that changes your day if you were not having a good day. But if you was, come on, I'm going to enjoy it with you. I'm a, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Come on, all my family, to the ones who know me well. I love you. I love you. Hey, so glad to have y'all here. Listen, we're going to jump right in. I'm going to show you the outfit of the day and the hair. Your girl done did it again. Y'all know I get bored real quick. Love the bow. If you have not seen, if you're new here, I had a bow in my head last week, last couple of weeks. So I just threw me a nice little twist. So we're going to talk about it in a second. And if that's something you're into, let's go. Stick around. All right. So this is another thrifted, of course, outfit of the day. Y'all know mostly everything I get is thrifted or it comes off of somebody's clearance or somebody's deal of a deal on a, a good holiday, honey. So this particular jacket is just a plaid or... Yeah, I would say just a plaid look and it has kind of this denim. I'll get a little bit closer. It has a little bit of that denim. As you can see, it has a lot of blacks and blues and it's giving off denim because I am heavily into a denim right now. So um, I will be going to New York next at the end of the week. So we are I'm going to be hunting New York for denim. So I really enjoyed this. Um, I got this a while ago. So it's been cleaned and pressed and it's just this windbreaker style um, jacket and it's a crop style I'll step back a little so you can see hopefully you can see it is a crop style I will do a uh, side by side so you can get the full look um, and honey it's just a wide leg jean um, these are very very stretchy but it's just a simple dark denim because of the blue in the jacket I went for a dark denim um, jean, but I wanted that wide leg. I'm more into wide leg right now because I threw on some boots. I'll show you guys the boots. If you have not been keeping up with the haul, this pair of boots, I paid $3. I don't know if you can see it still. Oh, here it is. $2.98. So I paid $2.98 for these motorcycle style boots. So, um, when I tell you they're comfortable, I'm trying to see the brand, um, but it, there's no brand on them. But honey, when I tell you they are cute, they just remind you of a really 90s motorcycle style uh, boot, but they are very comfortable and they have that extra give here in case you got them, them, them cankles. 
some time them cankles them ankles turn into cankles honey when you eat too much salt so that's really really cool so i threw these on for comfort and love the look and i just threw it on with a black crop shirt but uh we'll prop put the uh We'll put the look on the side so you can get the whole feel of the look. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Now let's get to this hair, honey. I'm going to let you soak it in. I'm going to let you go ahead and soak it in. And it was very simple. It's that same two-piece. Um, let me get it for you. Hold on. Let me get it for you. I had to keep it because I've been getting so many questions about this particular pack, um, this particular hairstyle when i had the bow i kept getting questions so i figured i would keep the pack in case i had to show it again and it's just called high and low style four i got it in a color one it was it was the last one they had left um and all they had left was a color one i usually get a color two because it goes one one b and then two but they had bought all the one b's and the twos up honey so i went for this one and thank God it worked out perfect for me. Here is the stock card. And it's just, you can you can either do it in this style or you can put it in a ponytail. It's just, it's a half wig. I mean, it's whatever you choose it to be. So I am going to wear this until, honey, you can't brush through it no more. So I'm going to try to keep revamping this particular um, high-low situation and I'm going to go back and get the number two so I can see if there's a difference in I would say the color would it look any different in a different color now I don't do the wild colors I prefer to keep it when it's a lot of hair like this you want to tone it down and keep it simple so um but it's by gold the letter n and tree gold and tree golden tree um but it's just called a half wig and pony wrap and all of this came in a pack for like $22. So we're going to get our money's worth out of this one. So I hope you guys like it. And the only thing I did was put one big, um, you know, twist. I just took the same, that drawstring ponytail. I took the drawstring ponytail and I just did one big twist instead of a bow this time. And then I did the same thing with the back. Now I could have did something special to the back. But I like it in its natural form, natural state, because it's when I wake up in the morning, only thing I do is take a dimming brush, brush it on out, honey. And I feel like the princess of Zamunda, like I said last week. So that is going to be what it is for the week. I love it. I Listen, I'm going to get two more of these because I know they're going to sell out. This is going to be like the summertime. Look, that half up, half down is always a staple for the summertime. But I'm going to go stock up because i am almost certain this is going to be the hit and y'all gonna know i told y'all here first this gonna be the hit for the summer because it's so simple and you don't have to press this you don't have to flat iron it even we were out and it was raining today and it did not poof up any bigger it stayed the same um but love this and let me know in the comment section if you guys have tried this one um or you plan on trying it let me know in the comment section and i've been having requests to do a tutorial and I didn't read them all until I get a lot of them on TikTok because I did one on TikTok with my hair. And I didn't realize it until after I had already did my hair. So the next time I style my hair, I will make sure I do a tutorial. <clears throat> Excuse me. But let me know in the comment section if you want me to do one on here. Just let me know. Because y'all know my hair ain't but a teaspoon short. My hair, I had to cut all my hair off last year. Um, but praise God. I got a teaspoon, honey, and I'm working on a, we getting there, <clears throat> we getting there, I'm going to get it. It's growing back really, really good because I had it pretty much down, shaved down to my head, and now I got enough to put in a ponytail, so that's all I need, honey. You give me two teaspoons, and I'm going to make you a whole meal with the look. So, I hope you guys enjoy, but let me know in the comment section what you think of this style, or you like the bow better, but I'm just trying different ones, so y'all roll with me positive if positive come on keep it positive but let me know what you think so let's go ahead and jump into our quick haul because i got some accessories and i got a couple of quick looks for you so let's go ahead and dive into it well all right let's go ahead and jump into our accessories now all of these accessories that i'm going to show you came from my local dav which is our disabled veterans thrift store 
here. And if you ever travel here, I am in the Virginia Beach area. And the DAV that I went to this week was on General Booth in the Virginia Beach area. And you can't miss it. It's over on Damn Neck by the military base, which is why I find so many wonderful things because the military families come and go in such large droves that they don't want to take all of that stuff with them. So you can go in there, honey. And when I tell you hit the jackpot, which is what I always end up doing, I find some really amazing pieces. And when I come back from New York, my plan is to do an uptown cheapskate haul and then go to my other DAV on the boulevard because there are quite a few. Now, I hit one, one of my favorite ones, I hit it once a week um, when I go to the farm with the girls. So if you keep up with me, if you're new here, I have a vlog series where I literally take you with me to the different thrift stores and you get to see me find these items that I'm showing to you now. So throughout the week, I kind of curate them and purchase them and find and dig, honey, because I'll be digging when I tell y'all I'll be digging, but I have a good time doing it. So in the vlog series, I literally film while I'm in the store finding these items. And then I come home and I kind of put them together into a style, a look, and then I show them here. So we're going to start with the accessories here. Now this is, let me tell you something. I don't know what this is. I know it's a, um, something I can put on a necklace and it is very, very pretty to me. Now the origin or what it is, Oh, excuse me. I'm a little close, but the origin of what it is made up of, I don't know if this is real gold. I'm not sure. I just thought this was really cute, but it's this really pretty um, necklace. You put this on a necklace. Can you see that? And look how pretty that is. You see that? It looks like two little kids playing uh, on a seesaw or playing under a tree. But I thought this was so pretty and the back of it, you could even wear the back of it as is. Can you see that? Look how pretty that is. And it's just this white, it looks like some form of a shell. The white part looks like um, either, either ivory or abalone shell. And it's just, to me, it just stood out and it's so pretty. And I know that the summer is coming so I like to wear things like this with a sundress or a bodycon. Mm, yeah, so I got this and the, the loop is big enough to put any type of necklace through it, whether it be a silver one or a gold one. But I thought this was really cute and it was only, let's see if we can get it big enough. It was only $2.98. But you really can't, to me, you can't beat it for $2.98. Um, but I just thought it was so, so pretty and different. It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. And I'm still trying to picture, they actually look like they're on a seesaw. But it, if you really look at it, it looks like, you know that the weighted, the weights of justice, you ever see that little emblem? It looks like there are two kids or two people sitting inside of this. And if anybody has ever seen this before, let me know. But it looks like those two kids are sitting inside of that, one of those. But I love it. I think it's so cool. Now let's get to the next piece. All right. So for my next one, this is a set of earrings. It's I, I know they're earrings, but I plan on using them um, in another pair of shoes. You guys know I love to put earrings and broken jewelry and uh, what do you call them? The little the clamps for the the shoes. I, just, I like to put those on my sneakers. I guess, let me see if I can grab one real quick. Pins. These, see these pins? I love to put broken jewelry and earrings on my shoes. So I found these and I thought these would go really pretty on those pink shoes I just showed you or if I get another pair. And this one was only $1.98. So it's a gold, it's just a gold and pink pair of hoop, but they're smaller hoops. And I can definitely wear them as earrings. And then when I feel like it, put it on the shoe. And if I lose one, I only paid $1.98 for them. So it just looks like a little flower. Let's see if I can take one out. Let's see if I can take, there we go. 
and forgive me because as I, we in the house now, so I took my jacket off, but um, this is the particular, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the hoop, can you see that? Isn't that cute? And I could definitely wear these as a second hole earring, or I can wear them as just a little dainty, and it's just that cute little, but for $2, like, you really can't beat that, and it has some, some faux diamond studded on the hoop, and then it has these two little dangly flowers, and um, a pearl-esque look, a pearl look to it, but I like these, and for $2, like I said, you really can't beat it, so I hope you guys like these. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one. We're going to breeze through this one, honey, because I know y'all got stuff to do. All right, so for our next piece, it is another statement. Now, I'm going to open this up, but before I open it, I wanted to show you guys the price. Can you see that? Now, this was also a $1.98. It might be a little too bright to show you on camera, but it's this really cute um, statement ring. You guys know I love, love, love my statement pieces. And I showed you guys, did I show you guys this one? I love this. Now I paid 99 cents for this one a, a while ago at one of the thrifts. I don't know if I can remember exactly what video, but I got it probably from the same thrift because usually they always have really good uh, fashion jewelry and this one is no different I'll take this one off so I can show it to you and this one is look how pretty that is and it's a yellow silver and yellow statement ring now this one it's not too bold and it's not one of those that'll catch on everything you wear but it's a big flower but all of the stones are yellow. And then there's this beautiful cluster of faux diamond or diamondiques in the middle. But for $2, honey, yes, it matches my flower in my hair. Girl, honey, I be, listen, keep me in prayer because the Lord been blessing me, honey. Y'all keep on praying for me because I have been finding some amazing pieces this year. I think this is my best thrift year so far. I always find really good pieces, don't get me wrong, but the Lord has been dropping some jewels on me, so I hope you guys are enjoying them. And like I said, this one was $2 also. If I'm not mistaken, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you, the pieces that I'm showing you are $1.98. I think I have one piece for $0.99, cent and I'll show you that one now, so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying. Make sure you let me know down in the comment section which piece out of the accessories was your favorite now my next piece is like i said it only was it was only 99 cent and it came from uh john bow h bison shop girl look don't make me lie it is just too long they have their instagram and you know with instagram honey they will put a letter on top of a name and other numbers and let it's too much, but I will show you. It's so pretty and it's so dainty. So I'm going to take it out. Now, the original price was $19.50 if you purchased this, I guess, from their website, which somebody did. Um, yeah, somebody, somebody paid $19.50, but I'll show you exactly what the necklace looked like. And honey, it ain't worth but a dollar. So I'm so glad that I only paid one dollar for this thing. It's so tiny. I hope this even shows on camera. I hope I don't get too close. Can you see how little that is? It's so beautiful. And it's just a couple of faux diamond stones on a silver necklace and I, I don't have a lot of silver jewelry um I'm just starting to collect silver jewelry because I noticed that when I wore jewelry I always gravitate to gold so I want to try to break that up and start wearing more silver and this has three really tiny pendants on it I mean tiny tiny pendants and the packaging is really cute and there is if you want to you can probably take a picture of that and scan it and it'll probably take you directly to their link 
And like I said, um, you could probably see what else they sell, but it's really, really pretty. It's just not worth $20 to me, but I paid 99 cents. Here is the packaging that I got, and it was only 99 cents. And to me, that's worth it. It's so pretty. It's just, to me, not worth $20. But I thank God that I was introduced to the company. So maybe I'll go find um, and see what else they have to offer. But if you are into something like this, that was their website. Check them out. You never know what you can find there. Maybe they have like a clearance section that you can check out. Um, but for my next piece, I'm just going to run through these next two pieces here. This is a gold tone and it has these really beautiful um, pink is or pink esque. Am I too close? I'm trying to see if you can get that pink in there. But these are pretty, pretty much like a faux pink Dominique stone. And it kind of gives off a little bit of a purple. Um, but it's so tiny and it's so subtle and dainty. That's why I got it. And this one was also a dollar 98. And I just thought it was so feminine and pretty. I'm starting to curate my spring summer wardrobe, which is, I wear everything. I don't wait for the specific seasons, but this season, um, in the spring and the summer seasons, I tend to wear a lot of bodycon um, maxi dresses. That's just my body type. Those things fit me well. And I wear A-line skater style dresses because of my height. So I love collecting those. So wearing jewelry like this really sets off this really feminine look because you can, with some of them, you can put as many of these little chains on and really maximize the space that the collar gives you on those maxi dresses. I am going to do a maxi dress haul um, in a couple of weeks. I'm trying to wait till it gets a little bit warmer, but um, these are, if you ever see these, get them because you, when you layer them, it gives off this look of just rich, it, but, you, but it's not overstated. There are moments for that, but I think something like this, if you had quite a few of them, and I'll show you the next one, it is the same almost exact necklace, but this one is silver and it has the white tone of the necklace. Can you see that? This one is the white. Let me take these glasses off girl, so you can see what I'm saying. But this is the white, um, more of just that diamond diamond look. And this one is longer, as you can see. This one is a full necklace. So the, the other one is more of a choker, more dainty style where you can layer. And I can definitely layer these together if I wanted to do so. But this one is so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. And it has the loop so you can extend it. You don't have to wear it quite as long if you choose not to. That way, if you want to layer it, you have your choice to where you want it to fall because of the extra links, as you can see. And like I said, this one was also $1.98. I'm not sure if these are coming off um, on the camera because they're so small. This particular DAV makes their tags so small, um, but please forgive me for that. There's nothing else I can do, but I try to show you guys. Um, but this one was a dollar ninety-eight also. So I may lay them down and, and video record it, but y'all get it. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know I be getting down on a get down. So I hope you guys like this one. That is the all of the ex accessories. So let me know in the comment section what your favorite piece was. I'm going to get a lot of each one of them. So I really can't pick. I'm trying to look. I think that big brooch or that big pendant, that one is standing out because I can rock that so many ways with so many different styles of necklace. And with a sundress with my hair pulled up, oh my goodness, I cannot. But it has to be on more of a choker style so you can actually see the actual brooch or the actual pendant sitting on skin. I think it's just when the sun hit it, I just think it's going to be really pretty, but let me know what your favorite is. And we're going to go ahead and jump into this quick haul try on and we're going to have some fun with it. All right. So I hope that you are ready. So we're going to jump into the fashion 
portion of this video. Now these things came from two different thrift stores. Um, one piece came from my local Goodwill and then the other pieces came from the DAV that I got the same accessories from. So we're going to start with the Goodwill um, set. Now this is because it is still, we're still in that I don't want to say it's it's kind of still winter for most of us because today was weird it was almost 70 degrees today that's why i got my arms out i got a little bit of my stomach out because it was hot today but yesterday it was almost like 30 40 degrees so we're having those indian winters uh indian summers whatever you want to call it where some days it's hot some days it's cold but to me pieces like this that i'm going to show you today or things you want to keep on hand and on dock for days like these. So I'm going to start off with this really cute. And this one is, is from the brand Time and True. And I think Time and True, if I'm not mistaken, is either Target or Walmart. I think it's Walmart. Let me know in the comments. But I think it's um, Walmart. And this is an extra large. But it's this beautiful eyelet. Um, there's no particular rhyme or reason in the pattern. It kind of gives off camo, but at the same time, um, it's that army green and I could definitely wear this with, I'm planning on styling it alone. And then I want to throw that jean jacket that I have on over it. I told y'all I like, I'm really into denim right now, but I think this would really look dressy or you could dress it up by throwing a jean jacket over this with a nice pair of heels now i'm going to show you two different ways you can style this i'm going to style it up with like i said you can throw on a pair of these types of shoes and kind of dress it up because i'm going to show you the pants in a minute and you can definitely throw this on with that and that jean jacket and have this and have on a pair of black leggings a pair of jeggings any type of black pair of pants or even a pair of blue jeans as you can see i have on blue jeans now and you can definitely do that or you can go super comfortable and have this on with these so i'm going to style it both ways to kind of give you an idea of how both ways would look but i'm definitely going to use the pants that go with this now these are the pants that came with it they're the exact same style of time and true and the set was five dollars for the set um and this particular set at the goodwill like i always tell you guys our goodwill does 50 percent and 75 percent off they have two different colors of the day if you ever want to see what that looks like make sure you check out my vlogs because i always show you when i get in the store what their color of the day is for that particular week um, but this is the pants that go along with it and it's the same exact pattern awesome part is there are pockets y'all know y'all know they're gonna take every five dollars they ever ask from me if it comes with pockets i don't care if it's a dress if it's a shirt it's something about pockets that seems so accessible and i just love a good pocket because i don't know about you but when i'm somewhere I have a tendency to have to find somewhere to put my hands because I don't carry a purse. I always have a backpack on. I have backpacks hanging here. I don't know if you can see them back there, but backpacks are just my jam. I own a few purses, but I don't really wear purses. So that's why you never really see me do purses in my haul. Unless something catches my eye and I feel like I have to have it. As long as I got some pockets in my backpack, I'm good. So this is just the jet. It's just that ruching style. It's not really ruched in, but it's kind of like almost kind of ruched in without the material or the elastic, but it's a straight leg. So it's very comfortable. And when you throw it on with those heels on, I'll make sure I that you're seeing it as I'm styling it. And like I said, I'm going to style it with the heels. And then I'm going to style it with the sneakers just to show you two different ways. When I wear the sneakers, I will not throw the jacket on. But when you want to dress something up, sometimes all you got to do is throw on a oversized blazer or you can throw on the jean jacket like I showed, like I'm showing you um, just to get that same 
look but it looks like you tried a little bit harder now you guys know i don't do stilettos so those are the best heels you're gonna get on this channel if it ain't a wedge we can't we 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 meowing around here we kittening it around here we keeping it real baby girl around here with the heels so I still think you can um, dress it up with a heel like that and still be cute and comfortable, but still dress it up. But let me know what you guys think of this particular set. I just thought it was so neat and it has this ribbing in the, there's a permanent line here. So you always look tailored. Anytime you see that piping there or, or, or that line that it always seems once you iron it up, it always gives off tailoring. Um, when you wear something like this. So if you ever see that in a sweatsuit, get it, get it, get it, get it, because it's always going to make you look like you really tried and you didn't have to. So I hope you guys like this one. Now let's go ahead and jump into our next set. All right. So for my next piece, we're going to start off or my next set, we're going to start off um, and show you the jacket to this one also and this one came from that same goodwill that i went to in the week like i said if you want to see it catch up on the last haul um or the last vlog excuse me but this one is it came from new york jeans new york and company and this set is a size extra large and i i really dig it because it is just a really pretty merlot or a red merlot color and these stripes are what sold me now i love a good pattern but sometimes all you need is just a simple stripe just to keep it funky you just want to you want to look tailored and put together but you don't want to look too busy something like that if you're not if you're not strong with fashion with that and some sneakers is enough but if you really want to jazz things up or if you're learning fashion, this is a really good piece to start out with. It kind of reminds you of an Adidas suit. It has the pockets here. Y'all know I love pockets. So it has the pockets there in case I want to leave my backpack in the car. I can put my gum. I can put my phone. I can put my candy, whatever it is, in my pocket, um, my license, whatever you want to bring with you. It has pockets. And I also found this really cute top crop top to wear with it i'll show you the pants in a second but i just wanted to show you this really cute crop and it's that same cream as you can see it's the same cream that's in the stripes i could not let this one stay you can always use a cream um shirt now this one should hit me right at my waistline because of my height and this one came from the dav and it was two dollars and 98 cents can you see that? I hope you guys can see that. So it was $2.98 and I thought it fit in my head. I was like, while I was shopping, I was like, this would be perfect with that. Do you see how that looks right there? It's so perfect with that tone. And I definitely could wear a t-shirt, a graphic tee with these pops of color in it and be just fine. But I like to keep it simple underneath here. Um, it just depends on where I'm going, but something like this with the stripes, you don't want too much going on because you don't want to look like a candy cane. You don't want it to start looking like you're doing too much. So this is perfect. And I'll go ahead and show you the pants really quick. And this set was also $5 at my local Goodwill. Um, but I loved it more because, uh, it has this wide band. So Instead of having elastic, it is elastic, but it's a wide band instead of that scrunchy material. It has the line going down the side here, but y'all know my favorite thing of it. It is a wide leg pant. Can you see that? <laughs> it's not that skinny leg. I have enough. This one has more of the skinny. It's not quite elastic, so it's not going to gather and bunch in, but it is a straight leg or skinnier leg. But this is one of my favorite kind. I have so many sets like this over there. And when I saw this one, I was like, yep, yep. And this one, unfortunately, does not have the pockets on the pants. But there are pockets on the jacket. So we good. We good. So I'm going to style this one up the same two ways. I'm going to find, um, I could definitely throw on these tie up. Can you see that? I can throw on these tie on to kind of give it that dressier look here. Can you see that? 
it's the same color so I could dress it up with that or I have another pair that I might pull out that look just like the black ones I showed earlier I may throw those on because I like that style of shoe better um, anytime I got to tie all of that up then you got to worry about all day long making sure it don't slide down your ankle so if I were to wear those on a date night or so with the hubby I would definitely put on I have a I have a tan pair just like these so I probably will put on the tan ones with this one or I'm gonna put on my old faithfuls honey my Charlie Browns y'all know I love these shoes and I might just throw these on because look how perfect the color is on these as you can see this could not be more perfect in color can you see that stripe it matches so perfect so I'm probably going to throw these on so you can see both ways that you can style this particular uh, set and like I said it just depends on where you're going you can dress this up and this one is brand new somebody still had the tags on it um, and I made a mistake and pulled them off so this was a brand new set for five dollars so when I tell y'all I'll be winning when I tell y'all I go in the store and before I'm going to tell y'all, before you hit any door, pray over it and God going to make sure you get everything you need. You may not get everything you want, but you're going to show sure get everything you need. And I'm always looking for um, things to show you guys that I need and I want to show you guys, but God always show out. But this set is so awesome. I hope you guys like the way I styled it. Now let's jump into our last set. I told y'all this one was going to be a quickie. All right, before we go to the next set, I forgot to show you guys. Now this particular set has a zipper here. So if you want to zip down the pants leg, um, of course, because I'm trying to show you and hold it this awkward way. It's, <laughs> it's not, there we go. So as you can see, if I want to unzip them, and show off my heel which is probably what i'm going to do when i wear the heels now when i wear my charlie browns i may leave it fastened because i want to be able to tuck those into the charlie Browns so you can actually see the shoe but when you're wearing um a track suit like this when you can open that pants leg and show that heel off yes yes sis. so i hope you guys like these now let's jump into my last set now my last set is when I tell you when I saw this, I was like, yep, yep. Now this is for, it may not be for everybody. It's a little busy for some, but for me, I'm, I know how to tone it down or let it be what it is. So this is a beautiful two piece set that I thrifted from that DAV that I was at. And this is by a company called C and C California. And this set, I know I usually don't pay this price for thrift store items like clothing items but y'all already know sometimes something is just worth it and this one was nine dollars for the set and I thought it was so perfect because I'll show you the tag can you see that so this one was nine dollars and ninety eight cent but I thought it was so perfect because it kind of gives you that if, if you if you ever Google Gucci and Adidas made a collaboration and I have a couple pair of those Gucci platforms that I want to wear uh, one of those pair with this. I'm going to show you which one. Let me see. All right. So I think this couldn't be more perfect because it has every color that is in this blouse or this top in this shirt or the set. Now this was the collaboration that Gucci did with um, Adidas. And like I said, I got mine. If you're new here, um, I did a, um, a video and I'll try to tag it if I can. I bought two pair of those and I showed you, I got them off D of the gate. We got them off the gate. You know, sometimes you got to pull up to the gate and get something for a cheaper price because those shoes retail for about $12,000. Yes, I said 12 grand. And y'all know you ain't getting 12 grand from me for just about nothing. If it ain't a house, something something I can profit off of, you ain't getting 12 grand for no pair of shoes. So I went on the gate 
I went down to the gate and the gate had them for uh, $70. So I got two pair. Um, and to me, it was so worth it because I can resell these, even though they came from the gate, I can resell these for about four or $500 easy. So I don't have any plans on selling them. I, when I tell you, I love these shoes. I'm definitely taking this set with me to New York. So y'all, if you are in New York, honey, you going to see me uh, next weekend. I will be in one of y'all thrift stores or, or as many of them as I can thrifting. So let me know if you will be available so I can let you know where I'm at so we can meet up because I want to meet some of y'all. So uh, this is that CNC California set. And if you look at the colors, there are so many beautiful, vibrant colors in this particular set. And the trimming is so simple. It's just a black trim and it gives off that Adidas look on the bottom of the arms or the wrists and also on the bottom of, can I show, there you go. Can you see that? And it kind of ties everything in. But what sold me was this is the back of the shirt and it has this cute little airing or opening. And I just thought that how smart, how chic, and you know me. What I'm going to do is I will wear this in the front or in the back. It just depends on what I'm feeling. And I'll throw that jean jacket over it or maybe just a simple uh, denim coat without all the bells and whistles. But y'all know I love that jean jacket. So that's probably what you're going to get. Um, I try every chance I get to wear that jean, that denim jacket with all those pins. I love that. I hope you guys like that. Um, if you haven't seen it. Go back and check in some of my previous videos. I think it's like the, the one before my last one. I did a DIY on a patches and pins denim jacket. And I think it would go so good with this. But I'll show you the pants in a second. And we'll tie it all together. And I hope you're enjo enjoying the first way I'm going to style it. Now, I am going to throw this on with these same shoes to give you that dressed up look. Now, I may throw these on i think these would make it look just as classy and give me a little height but i think let me know if i should wear these or the other ones i'm gonna try it on with both so we can rock it and see which one looks the best with the jean jacket with the denim jacket but let me show you the pants and uh this is the sneaker these are the sneakers besides i could wear these sneakers with this same top or I could wear the Gucci, but I think I want to do the Gucci because I just think those give me so much height and depth. When you see the pants, I'll show you, let me get the pants and then we'll go ahead and close this thing out. All right. So for the pants, the pants are exactly the same style, exactly the same material. And like I said, what I love about them the most is they have that Adidas looking stripe going down the side. I mean, I swear to you, if you Google that Gucci Adidas collaboration, this is the vibe that you get because they went with a lot of patterns. Um, I just think this is just whoever did this one did a really good spinoff of that particular um, curation of, of, of clothes. And this is the brand. I've never heard of this brand. CNC California. Um, it is a size large and it does have, of course, pockets. Y'all, y'all know I'm excited about them pockets and it's this material. Let me see what the material says. It was made in Vietnam, but polyester, oh, polyester and spandex. So it has a little stretch to it has a little bit of give to it but um it's the perfect size for me but i love also that the pants leg it's not quite as wide as i would like but it is a wide leg style it's nowhere skinny so this will be perfect and it has these look at that it has these buttons going down the side but it stops at a certain link so it's not the ones where the buttons come all the way up to your thighs honey i would bust out of all of that so god knew what he was doing so 
these stop right above your ankles and i just think this is so perfect for the season that's coming up i can wear this through the summer um if on a date night uh, a brunch a girl's trip whatever it is this would be perfect in the spring or in the summer i could actually wear this in the fall with a nice pair of tights under it i could wear it now with a pair of tights under it but on a day like today would have been perfect i just didn't want to clean it and wear it today and then have it in the video i just wanted to be able to show you guys and then i can get it cleaned up and ready for my trip and it has these gold grommets can you see that it has these gold grommets so it does have a functioning drawstring so I can make them as baggy or as tight as I want to, depending on the look that I'm going for. And because I don't have to worry about a shirt under, if I want to, if it's chilly outside, I can wear something like this underneath it. And then, like I said, turn that shirt to the front or the back and have that opening in the front. That way, when I put my hands in my pocket, you probably will see as I'm styling it, um, or you've probably already seen me styling it. But I'm definitely gonna style it those two uh, two or three probably two different ways so you can see whether you can dress it up or dress it down with some sneakers So let me know out of each outfit. Did you like it dressed up or did you like it dressed down with the sneakers? Just depends on where you're going I'm just trying to give you two different ways to look at the same outfit Of course, there are other ways to do it, but we're gonna stick with those two for today Let me know what your favorite is now. Let's get to my favorite part of the video all right we're at the favorite my favorite part of the video so i just want you guys to know that i love you i thank you thank you thank you so much for rocking with your girl for always coming back and tuning in i don't care if it's on a sunday a monday don't feel bad about what day you watch it just make sure you come back and check on your girl once a week or twice a week like i'll say because i do my vlogs on thursday and then i do my haul try-ons on sunday god willing so make sure you tune in and like i said don't worry about which day you do it just make sure you come check your girl out and make sure you hit that like button before you leave here now the most important thing you could ever do for me is not only pray for me honey but hit that share button and share this on your social media if you look down there all you have to do is hit share and it will let you pick which social medias you would prefer to share and then all the person has to do whoever watching on your page all they have to do is click on it and all you got to do on there is put on there share this or click honey and send somebody else our way so help me grow the family because i love y'all so so much i appreciate you and i hope you enjoyed this really quick haul we're getting ready to go to new york like i said so i didn't want to do too, anything too extravagant or large i'm working on how we're going to work out next sunday because i will be in new york during that particular um video which is when i post i will be posting thursday I'll be back for the next one but Sunday I may try to do a live or I may sneak and just do a haul I probably won't be able to try the things on let me know if that's okay with you guys but I will be able to show you the things that I'm finding um, maybe I'll just do one of those because I can upload I will have my computer and Wi-Fi but that's what we're working on for next Sunday so let me know in the comment section if you are in the area of Long Island in that area drop me a comment girl if you're free next weekend we need to get something going we need to meet at one of the thrifts because maybe you know a place that I don't know of that I need to be at so leave me a comment I love you I thank you guys and before we go you know I always speak life I speak prosperity. I speak God's peace because his peace that has a peace that passes all understanding. You don't have to understand it. He knows. Sometimes you don't even have to explain it. Your groans, your moans, just pray. Use your thoughts to become one. Follow and do a little more reading and research of your own. And baby, when I tell you, when you tap into it, woo! He's so good, girl. Look, don't get me started. So just know that I love you and I'm speaking life and safety over us this week. It's been a busy thing going on in this world, but we are speaking life. We are speaking God's peace, his covering and his safety over us for the next week. And I'm praying, keep me in your prayers and my family for safe travels. And we'll see you guys on the next 
Big Chick Thrift. Thank you, sweetheart. I know you came here for some fashion, but you're going to always leave here with some love. So I love you. Bye.